I understand that the following information will be gathered and utilized for educational purposes by an Indiana Wesleyan University student. I give my permission for this information gathering and physical assessment to be filmed and posted on Blackboard for access by faculty and students at Indiana Wesleyan University. The video will be deleted by the student as soon as it has been reviewed and graded. I further acknowledge that this is for educational purposes only and the information is not meant to be diagnostic. Therefore, Indiana Wesleyan University, the faculty and staff, as well as the student are not considered liable. Hello, my name is Bryant. I'm your nurse. Are you Miss Stone? Yes. Hey, what's going on today? I have excruciating pain on my right side, all the way down into my groin. Okay. When did it start? This morning when I was lifting some heavy boxes out of my van. It just started and it hasn't let up at all. Okay. And I even threw up once. All right. Okay. So you were loading heavy boxes in your van and this pain in your right flank started all of a sudden? Yes. And you said it kind of goes around to your groin. Okay. Have you had any unusual symptoms um, prior to uh, this morning? Uh, I've, the last few days I've had a, it kind of, it's kind of an achy there in that same spot and it burns when I pee. Okay. Okay. And you've never had anything like this before? Uh, one time last year. I had the similar pain, but it wasn't near as bad, and it, it, was, it lasted one day, and then it was gone, so I didn't go to the doctor. Okay. i got to do something about this pain. Sure, I understand. So, your pain level right now is what number between 0 and 10? 9. Okay. All right, so um, I'm going to go talk to the doctor and see what we can get you for some pain relief and some uh, nausea relief, and then afterwards, maybe we can uh, talk a little bit more, Okay. 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 How are you feeling? Much better. Good. You look a lot more comfortable. All right. So, um, let me just say that there's a few things that we're um, we're looking at for the source of your pain. Um, first is a kidney stone. Oh, my dad gets those a lot. Okay. Uh, second, it could be a urinary tract infection, possibly. And then uh, thirdly, in since you've been lifting a lot of heavy boxes earlier today, We'll, we'll look at the possibility of a muscle strain in your lower back, okay? Um, let me ask you a few more questions about your past medical and surgical and psychiatric history. Um, uh, have you had any past medical history, any major uh, illnesses? C-sections with my kids, and I had surgery on my ankle when I broke it, and um, that's it. Okay. So your um, ankle surgery and C-sections are your only surgical history. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, any psychiatric history that you can think of? Oh, well, I'm on an antidepressant. Okay. All right. do, do you work out? Do you have a job anywhere? No. Okay. Um, uh, no, I've been working out in the garden all this week. Okay. I think the triage note said that uh, you have four kids, you homeschool or involved with your church. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you've, you've been working outside in, the, in this yes, hot weather. It's been hot. Yes. How's your fluid intake been? I, you mean, what do I drink? Yeah, you've been drinking a lot of fluid? I drink coffee in the morning and sometimes something with dinner, but that's about it. Okay. Okay. Even on the days that you're working outside? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, well, let me, let me just um, have you sit up, and I'm going to uh, listen to your breath sounds and just do a real quick physical exam. Deep breath. Good. Now, any tenderness there? No. Good. All right. And you go ahead and lay back for me. Your bowel movement been normal? Yes. I'm going to listen to your belly. Okay, good. Now, 
soft sounds on all four quadrants. Any tenderness? No. Good. Soft and non-tender. All right. Any numbness or tingling down in your lower extremities? No. Okay. No edema. All right. So we'll have your blood results back, your urinalysis results, and the results of the CAT scan in, in a few minutes, and we'll be, able to, we'll be able to have some answers for you. Okay. Stone, how are you feeling? Fine. Great. Okay. So all your tests are back. So I think we do have some answers for you. First of all, your urinalysis did show some blood in your urine. So since you're not on your period, um, we're um, suspicious that you you have had a stone. The CAT scan actually did confirm that. Uh, the CAT scan showed that you have a four millimeter stone in your uh, right um, UVJ, uh, the part of your ureter that uh, just before it gets into the bladder. So that would explain the blood in your urine. Um, your urinalysis also showed some bacteria, um, which sometimes uh, can be uh, caused from uh, a kidney stone. You can have a secondary urinary tract infection. All right, so um, the, your blood work was all fine. You don't have an elevated white blood cell count. You're not anemic. All the rest of it looks normal. So um, I think that um, we've discovered the source of your discomfort, this four millimeter stone. Uh, Four millimeters um, sh should be a passable size. Uh, about 90% of people can pass a four, mil four millimeter stone within 72 hours. Um, once they get up to five or six millimeters, uh, it becomes more of a problem. So you're getting close to, 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 um, to being a, a size too large to be able to pass. We're going to refer you to a urologist, Dr. Howie, European. So um, he can reassess you to make sure you passed it. We're going to give you a urine strainer to take home with you, uh, to strain your urine. So if you catch this stone, you can uh, take it with you uh, to have it analyzed when you follow up with urology. All right. So um, we're going to give you uh, some prescriptions to take home with you to keep you more comfortable, some pain medicine, some nausea medicine, um, an antibiotic to treat this urinary tract infection. Uh, you said you're allergic to penicillin. Mm -hmm. We're going to use Cipro. Okay. So, um, uh, and then... Um, uh, if your pain gets worse, uh, just come back to the ER, um, it, it, you know, and we can we can we can treat you as need be. Okay. So, I, I want to urge you to to drink lots and lots of fluid. That's the number one instruction I can give you is drink two to three liters of fluid a day to keep your urine diluted, and um, to um, to be able to pass and flush this stone out. And um, there are some. There are some uh, foods that you might want to avoid, uh, foods that are high in um, oxalate. 80% of stones are calcium-based, uh, but they bind with uh, oxalate. So it's not necessary to, to, to decrease the amount of calcium in your diet, but oxalate-containing um, foods such as spinach, peanuts, strawberries, chocolate, uh, and, and grapefruit juice, uh, those are all things that you might want to um, minimize. All right. So, um, do you have any questions for me? No. All right. So, we'll get you all the uh, discharge instructions and information and uh, have you on your way. All right. Take care. Thanks.